If you are a Spring Spring Boot developer, you must know how to design a Spring controller in the right way. And for that, you must be aware about two different annotations, at the rate controller versus at the rate rest controller. And trust me, either of this annotation can change your entire application workflow. Let's find out how. Here I have a controller called test controller and I have a handler method called slash test, which is tagged with an URL endpoint called slash test. Now this handler method returns home page, but what is this home page? Well, in this case, this home page is a HTML page, which will be returned when somebody hits slash test endpoint. Well, in this case, I'm going to annotate this class with a at the rate controller annotation. As a result, whenever this method is going to return a string called home page, a guy called view resolver will come into the picture and is going to resolve the view and will find where this home page is actually exists in my project class path. And the same page will be returned to the user. And the good news is if you're using Spring Boot, you got a default view resolver available. So you got to do nothing. So let's type our endpoint with a slash test and let's just hit this and there you go. That's our home page, which is our HTML page. Now, what about if I do not want a view to be returned? For an example, I'm returning a HTML page or a JSP page or a time leap page right over here, but I do not want that. I want to write this text directly to the HTTP response body. Well, this is very simple. You can absolutely do that by using a response body annotation. Now Spring Boot will write directly this home page to your HTTP response body. Let's find out how. Let's go to our web browser and hit the same endpoint one more time. And now we can see the text only is not the view or our HTML page. Now, if you got hundreds of methods inside your class and you want the same effect, you can actually move this response body annotations to the class level. Or alternatively, you can actually replace this couple of annotation with one annotation called at the rate rest controller because the REST controller is a combination of response body and your controller annotation. Now to test this out, I will write some more text over here and I'll reload the same endpoint. And you can see your string is written right now to the response body. So if you're developing any API where you have to return a string or a JSON or an XML, better to go with the at the rate REST controller annotation. But I have a question for you. Here you are returning a string. What if, if you want to return the same thing in JSON format, then what changes that you have to do in this annotation? Let me know in the comments.